You ever had one of those days when you're holding a stick and everyone looks like a pinata? Hey there. Hey there. Something I can help you with? What's the story with this place? Well, for starters, my name's Chuck. Chuck Finley. Part of a group of outcasts from the Brotherhood of Steel. We're from the D.C. area. We call ourselves the Brotherhood of Gold, and this bunker is our home in the Commonwealth. Why did you leave the Brotherhood in the first place? It's complicated, but the short version is, the Brotherhood of Steel started out on the West Coast, shortly after the Great War, and its original mission was to hoard pre-war technology. A little over 30 years ago, the Brotherhood sent a group east to explore. And, well, that group eventually settled in the D.C. wasteland, which is where most of the crew here grew up. Our leader was a man named Owen Lyons. So, in addition to acquiring technology, Lyons believed it was important to be a good neighbor and help out the local community, which eventually didn't sit well with most of the other Brotherhood. You see, we were involved in a massive project to provide clean drinking water to the D.C. wasteland, and, well, that's a long fucking story. Over time, more and more of the members of the East Coast Brotherhood chapter began to view assisting the D.C. community as a waste of our resources. Then Owen Lyons died. Let's just say shit got interesting after that. A few years passed and there was a power struggle, and ultimately our choices were to follow the 16-year-old mini-Hitler who was appointed elder by the West Coast Brotherhood, or to leave for greener pastures. Most people stayed, we chose to leave. That was four years ago. We headed northeast to the Commonwealth and been making a living here ever since. You're in charge? Me? Oh, hell no. I might be the oldest, but no one's actually really in charge. You know, we came from a strict hierarchy with the Brotherhood of Steel, and we all saw how great that turned out. The chain of command was so inefficient it would get us all killed if we tried that bullshit here. You see, according to traditional Brotherhood rules, everything has to run through proper channels. Theoretically, if an elder is taking a dump and runs out of toilet paper, well, then there's a scribe in the stall next to him. The elder isn't technically allowed to ask the scribe directly for the toilet paper. Oh, no. He's got to run the request through several levels of command just to wipe his own ass. It's a goddamn ridiculous example, but you get the point. We're a small enough group, and we don't need a formal hierarchy fucking us up. If someone has a mission, they recruit a team from within our ranks, and then they become leader for that mission. For internal disputes over stuff like who took someone so's yogurt from the fridge, well, a neutral arbitrator or jury of peers typically settles those little bullshit scenarios. What are you guys doing out here? We're on a bit of a crusade. We're here to champion the cause of the innocent, the helpless, the powerless. You know, in a world full of criminals who operate above any law. <clears throat> now listen, sorry about that. Our, uh, our entertainment options here are kind of limited. We end up watching a lot of Knight Rider reruns. But to answer your question, you could say we're like the Brotherhood of Steel, but without the whole, you know, Nazi vibe. We generally believe that all sentient humanoids have a right to exist. So we don't start fights with others just because their skin or DNA is a little different than ours. Except feral ghouls. Fuck those guys. And come to think of it, eh, most super mutants too. Bunch of bitchy little girls. Anyway, we mostly do mercenary work to pay the bills, hostage rescue, wild animal control, escort some travelers to and from major trading hubs, shit like that. We try not to be evil, and of course we search and accumulate as much technology as we can. I wanted to ask you about something else. Okay, shoot. How can I get in? Well, obviously we don't let just anyone in. The only reason you made it through the front door is our scout spotted you a mile away and radioed in that you matched the description of the person who's been taking out raiders lately. So we turned off the turrets and figured we'd give you an audience. We work on a you scratch my back, I'll scratch your system here. If you want in, you gotta do something for us first. Go ahead, I'm listening. The job is to retrieve a weapon for one of our brothers. As background, we do a fair amount of work transporting traders, and, you know, and patrons to and from Fusion City. It's a goddamn dangerous job providing transportation through the glowing sea, but it does pay well. One of our crew goes by the name Grabthar. Well, he got denied entrance to Fusion City after taunting the guards there, and they confiscated his weapons and supplies. Any tech, the security division at Fusion City, 
never really formally charged Grabthar with anything, but the items they confiscated ended up being sold at one of their public auctions. And one of the items they took was Grabthar's sledgehammer. That weapon has a lot of serious sentimental value to Grabthar since it was given to him by his late brother Warven right before he died. Get to the point. What... what do you need? Right. Uh, so Anytech holds public auctions every now and then, and uh, that's where they sell their confiscated property. I think the last one was over at the church in Nantic Banks. Anyway, head over to Nantic Banks and see what you can find out about the auction and track down the sledgehammer. Bring the weapon back to me and we'll see about letting you in the bunker. Deal? Sure. Why not? All right, I'll uh, mark the location of the church on your map. Huh? <clears throat> huh? Huh? <clears throat> I'm here. Just curious what you're thinking. The best part about being synth? You never have to discuss religion. Hard to kneel to a creator when he's in the next room scratching himself. That's all. Okay? Hey, what is it? Your thoughts? <laughs> I need a fucking drink. Huh? Hey. Do you need something from me? Hi. For you, I have time. Your thoughts? So much to experience and feel. How can I fit it all in one lifetime? Just wanted to check in. See how you feel things are going between us. It is so hard to wrap my head around what I feel about you. Before, there was only duty. Now... something more. Nothing else I needed. As you say. <laughs>